Hello guys, here with my top 5 apps for productivity on the Nexus 7 tablet. These are 5 apps that when I'm thinking about productivity, I go, I first go to. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the first one. The first one I have to say, hands down, if you're making a note, it's Evernote. Evernote for me is one of the best apps there is to make um, notes. Uh, you can use the landscape modes as well, and here you can make um, you can save notes as text notes, audio notes, attachments, and snapshots. Um, this, if you uh, when you log into your Evernote app for the first time, is going to make make you create a, an an account, and I could recommend you guys to create an account. That way, you will be able to access every note that you create on your tablet or on your phone you will be able to access it on your computer and whatever edit you make on your computer or on your tablet or on your phone will automatically sync without you even doing it it will do it on its own and like you can see right here it's very very easy it separates your notes per like per dates and everything it's very easy to start a note right there and the great thing about the the Android version is that it has widgets uh, the widgets create it a lot easier to um, create a note very fast I really really love that uh, you could create tags because if you if you got like hundreds and hundreds of notes I, I recommend creating tags and when you need to find an, a specific note all you gotta do is search for that tag like for example um, receipts and it will automatically show you all notes that has the tag received. So for me, this is one of the must have notes. It's free and your cloud service is also free up to, I think it's up to one gigabyte or two gigabytes. But when it comes to notes, um, notes, they don't take so much storage. So one or two gigabyte is enough when you're just creating notes. And that's the solely purpose you're using this app for, is to create notes. For me, this is one of the best note, best note apps. My second productivity app, I would have to say, is Easy PDF Pro. Easy PDF Reader Pro. Uh, this app is just amazing for creating um, PDF files, for editing PDF files. Um, you can access your PDF files from your Dropbox or from your Google Docs. So if you have PDF files there, you can access it here. The, another great thing is with this PDF um, um, app, you can also read ebooks, magazines, and comics that are in PDF format. Like, for example, if I click on this one that for, I'm using as an example, The Walking Dead comic, I could go ahead and read the comic. And, like you can see here, is you're, gonna, you're still going to have all the tools needed for editing and making notes on PDF files here and you can here you can jump pages as well you're gonna, gonna have there you here in the bottom you're gonna have all the pages available from your note from your ebook or your 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 magazine or your comic and once you're done editing a, a document or a homework, whatever you have here, you could go ahead and send it from this app. You could go ahead and send it right away to one of your buddies, buddies via email or, or text messaging. So it's a very, very great app. I think it's like $3.99, but it, it is totally worth it. I'll be using it for like forever. My next productivity app, I have to say, is Pockets. Um, pockets if you are a student and you're doing homeworks and it not necessarily have to be a student if you're um, any professional or writer or editor or whatever and you're looking for from information on different sources um, and you're off and you're online when you find something that you like all you gotta do for example if I'm here online let's say I'm on Let's say I'm on Wikipedia looking for information for the revolution. Like for example, right here, I have something there for revolution. I need this for my homework and I need to save this to have it available offline and better yet, have a better reading experience. All I have to do is click there right in settings or and you're going to you're going to choose to share. When you choose to share, you're going to see the pockets. 
when you choose pockets it's gonna go ahead and save it to your pockets now like you see right there it's saved now this article this this job that you just found on the web is gonna be available right here look at that it appeared magically right there on your pockets app and it's gonna be available offline so and when you click on it like you can see pockets makes an awesome job making the 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 web page that you just saved in a very nice readable format look at that very very beautiful very beautiful and from here just like any any reader you can also control you can even change the font you the font size and everything for example look at that you can change the font size and you can even make it easier to read even better than using it on on the web you can also control the the background you can change the background to night view sepia and white background which is very very awesome uh, you can even control the indentation right there very nice and I think if I'm not mistaken you could change the no I thought you I thought that was the font size but you can control brightness everything here whatsoever and from here you could go ahead and, and share it to somebody else or print it and this is an amazing app some um, some articles it will be able to read back the articles to you which is another Revolution. nice feature like, November 30th, look at that <laughs> Revolution. revolutionary war and revolt redirect here for other uses awesome. See re so let's go ahead and click that let's cancel that but it's an amazing app and it's totally free uh, my other productivity app is print hand how can you do work and work and work and never print it you go eventually you're gonna have to print your works right so for me this is the best choice when it comes to printing documents from a phone or from a tablet especially the Nexus 7 tablet this app is just amazing um, you could print anything. You could print files that are available in your in your tablet. You could print um, pictures from your gallery. You could print web pages. If you find a web page that you actually want to print, from here you could go ahead and print the web page. Uh, you from here you could go ahead and, and 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 access the web page right here and go to it, and it will automatically print the web page. Um, you could. Um, print documents from your Google Drive, which is amazing as well. Um, another cool feature is let me cancel that. Another cool feature is you can like look at that. It opened Google Drive and all my documents in it. Um, you could print emails as well. If you receive an email and you need to uh, print that email from here, you could go ahead and print that email. Like you see right here, it took me to my inbox, and from here, if I wanna. If I if I want to print this email, like this one, this all oh, I want to print that one. So I just choose print, and from here you can access, you can add your own printer. It will automatically add all the drivers to the printer, or you could just use the universal printer options that it has there, and it works very good. Your computer, I have a video for this app, so I recommend you guys to go into that video so you guys can see all, all the features of this app, which is very, very awesome, very amazing. And like I said, it's a must have if you're doing lots of productivity from your tablet. This is a must have. And I think that app is actually $9.99. Uh, when I got it, it was free five dollars but i think it went up 9.99 but honestly it's totally worth it and it works on your phone and on your tablet and yeah, if you change a tablet if you decide to get a transformer prime or any other tablet you're going to be able to take it there so you know money is not lost at all um my last productivity app is a must have as well for me is a must have and is google drive yes google drive i have dropbox i use box but google drive for me is the best not only because it has all the functions that you find in in dropbox um you can also create documents from here if you click there 
You could create a folder. You could create a document, which is a normal Word document, but from Google. Or you could create a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet is like a, uh, an Excel document, but from Google. And it works perfectly. And the great thing is that if you're working at school, again, working on a project, um, you um, somebody creates a document, and from here you can... You can um, for example, you can share a document. You can make a, do a document available offline, or you could go ahead and add people to your list that can have the permission to edit that document, which is which makes it awesome to make in um, finishing projects in a group when you guys are working in a teamwork um, situation. It's an amazing app. You guys, people that know about Google Docs know what I'm talking about um, and another good thing is the client that for your laptop or for your computer it has been updated so now it actually works just like Dropbox you're gonna have a folder in your computer it works with Mac it works with PC and everything that you put in that folder it could be pictures it could be a word document Excel document PDF files folders with documents in it Anything that you put in there will automatically be, be synced just like Dropbox. But the difference of Dropbox is that this actually gives you the option to create documents, which Dropbox doesn't. Um, Google, Google Drive gives you 5 gigabytes of cloud service for free, which is not bad, especially when you're working on documents. And... The great thing about it is that, let me see, what else can I think of? Um, like I said, here, you could go ahead and share with me. You can, here you can see the documents that people are sharing with you, and you can edit those documents, and every editing that you make in this document will automatically change in their document, which is freaking awesome. Um, here, if you need to upload like some documents that you have on your tablet or photos, from any gallery or anything else, any music track, you can even upload it as well to your drop um, to your Google Drive. And honestly, I believe Google did an amazing job with this app. It's available also on iPad on the Apple side, so you can still work with people that have um, Apple devices. And for me, it's amazing. It's a great app. Like I said, I use a lot of Dropbox because I've been using it for years. But, you know, what Dropbox does not have the creating this feature, which is create documents, spreadsheets, and share your documents with your buddies, which is a big, big, big plus when you're working in Teamworks and you guys are doing a project or anything like that. So, and the great thing is that if you need more memory, which I am paying for it's very very cheap I think for 25 gigabytes a month you just pay 249 a month two dollars and 49 cents if I'm not mistaken and that is freaking cheap and if you do that if you upgrade to you know to one of those um, pro plans you will be able to use Picasa and that that storage will also apply to Picasa and to your email account and to your job onto your Google Drive, which is a big, 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 big plus. So, guys, um, these are my top five apps. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these apps. These are the apps that I consider that are the best for a seven inch tablet. They might not be the best for you. But for me, these are the best, and I actually want to share this with every one of you guys. So, guys, let me know what you guys think about it. Till next time.